Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Let me see if I can get a few people on the feed so I can give out this quick message to everyone. Sun is uh, right in my face. This is a really bad spot, but <laughs> uh, this is where I have I had to do the live. Good evening to you, Miss Brenda Hendricks. Hi, Miss Linda Brown. Hi to everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News and America's Voice. God bless everybody in my city of Tijuana and my country of Mexico, and also God bless the United States of America. Good evening to everybody. As you guys know what happened today with the, mi the migrant caravan uh, in Tapachula, uh, our contact and our source, Carlos Mejia Lopez, uh, he did a live feed and he has been working so hard to bring the coverage of what is happening in Tapachula. Also, they were uh, three characters really important in this migrant caravan that they have been accused of uh, human smuggling and also child smuggling, human trafficking and also child trafficking. Uh, Irineo Mujica, Carlos Villagran and also Bartolo Fuentes. All of them, they were in this migrant caravan that is around 2,000 people. They crossed to uh, Soconuso, Soconusco, that is a part around El Suchate River. And all of them, they were contained and they were pushed back by the National Guard. God bless our National Guard that they did a phenomenal and fantastic uh, thing today containing the migrant caravan to uh, accept and to do the procedures, the migrant procedures like they need to do. They need to respect immigration uh, laws, they need to respect immigration process, and also they need to respect the immigration visas of transit. That that is a procedure that it was put by the United Nations on this United Nations Pact of Immigration that it was not being respected by the government and also by human rights and by the United Nations. Right now, the government of, the, of Mexico and the National Guard has complied with stopping them in, uh, in Dominguez, Metapa Dominguez, that it was the place uh, that they were contained by the National Guard. Now, a lot of you, a lot of you guys uh, don't understand what Carlos was saying because all of his broadcasts are in Spanish. Now, what we are going to do is have a live feed later on, a watch party for you guys. And I will be live during during this watch party to explain and also to translate what Carlos is, is uh, it was doing on this watch and this live feeds, two or three live feeds that he had. Translate for everybody in America and, and, and everybody that speaks only English and, you know, give give my insight and give Carlos insight also on what is happening and what happened at that particular time when they were marching when they were walking when they were encountered and also when uh, most importantly when all these uh, human traffickers and all these human smugglers that they've been accused the government of Mexico has accused these people of human trafficking child trafficking and all these things uh, and all these people are still free out and about uh, you know, uh, manifesting, instigating, doing, you know, uh, rallies and also uh, practically, you know, giving their uh, political opinions in front of everybody, blaming AMLO for everything that has happened, that that I will, I will give them the right. Uh, this is AMLO's fault for signing the United Nations Pact of Immigration, but of something that is more really incorrect, blaming the president of the United States that he has nothing to do with this. The United States didn't sign the International Pact of Immigration, and the one that signed it was Mexico. So it's all the Mexican politicians' fault. These parasites that they signed an International Pact of Immigration without the consideration of, of people's lives and people's uh, and kids' lives. This is the amazing thing about you know people and the, the ideology on the caravans that all these all these people all these traffickers all these human smugglers that they are being accused that they are infiltrated in the caravan all these people they are not 
uh, faithfully and they are not truly uh, being honest to the people in the caravan. So what they start implementing is brainwashing their minds and telling them, you know, it's it's the President Trump's fault. It's, you know, the government of the United States' fault. It's the American people that they don't want you. They are racist. You know, they treat you wrong. They don't want you over there. They're really bad people. And it's not like that. So it is our obligation as Mexican citizens. It's my obligation to clarify, to be transparent to all these people that are watching my life is that they're in the caravan. Yes, I am a, you know, I am, I was a migrant and I am a migrant. Uh, but I want to do things legally with the process, peacefully and with a purpose. That is how you're supposed to do it, respecting every process, respecting every documentation that is put on the United States of America and also on Mexico. You know, Mexico has their own laws. Mexico has their own process. Mexico has their own legal migration process. And the United States has the, uh, the exact same uh, procedure to respect every step of the way, to migrate correctly, migrate peacefully, and migrate to the legal way. So, you know, it's not into me to say, no, we're not giving out asylum. Asylum is a process that is given to everybody in every country. And you cannot deny that. Now, the only way that you can do it is legally through the front door, not through rivers, not through mountains, not through seas. Let's educate these people that these human traffickers and human smugglers are basically brainwashing their mind to make them think that, you know, the American people and the American public and also Mexican citizens, they don't like them. Let's make them understand what is happening and what is going on. So later on uh, tonight, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock West Coast time. I'm, that's, that's a little bit late, uh, you know, for the East Coast time. That is, you know, three hours away. That is going to be 11 o'clock. I will try to do it a little bit earlier. And if I do it a little bit earlier, uh, I, will, uh, I will advise people. Probably uh, I will, uh, you know, I, I can get home around... Uh, 7 o'clock, 7.30. Uh, but for me to get ready is a process. So, uh, you know, I will give or take uh, between 7 and 8 o'clock West Coast time. I will try to do it 7 o'clock for people to, you know, it's a little bit late on the East Coast. It's going to be 10 o'clock in the East Coast Central time. I, I believe it's uh, 9 o'clock. And also uh, uh, Mountain time, I believe is. I don't, I don't believe I, th I think it's an hour away. I don't I don't know particularly, uh, particularly the uh, exact timing. But I will try to do it, uh, you know, as soon as possible, as soon as I can for, you know, translation. Now, uh, for everybody to know, you know, you need to share and so we can understand what is going on and what is happening. So I can basically explain uh, what Carlos is telling me right now. We just had a phone call with him right now. And it was amazing to just hear him out and just to tell him and just to try to understand him of what is happening. It's just a suffering of all these situations that is happening in our country. So, uh... So, uh, for everybody that is watching, uh, you know, I will be live at West Coast time. Probably at 8 o'clock West Coast time, I will be live for everybody that is watching right now. Uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, I will try to explain and translate of the situations that are happening with this migrant caravan. You know, for me, uh, you know, if, every, if something happens, I will keep you guys posted immediately and I will do a live feed as soon as possible. Stay safe, everybody. And always remember, peace and love, because always, your country is first.